Hello everyone, welcome back to Lewis News. In today's video, we are going to be talking about another piece of relevant information regarding MCU Spider-Man 4 and potentially who the villain is going to be. But before we get into that, if you are new around here, make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with all the latest Spider-Man news. This is your number one YouTube channel in 2024, so if you want to stay in the loop with everything Spider-Man, this is the channel for you. But with that being said, let's get straight into this. So, this is coming out from Brad Winderbaum. Winderbaum? I hope I'm saying his name right. But anyway, he's a film producer and essentially he has worked on a bunch of Marvel stuff and is actually famous for doing the Marvel one-shot series which basically included characters like Agent Carter, Item 47, All Hail the King and a bunch of other stuff as well but basically he's had a say in Marvel stuff over the last 10 or so years but basically he has come out and confirmed that the Kingpin, so Wilson Fisk, will be the Thanos of the street level MCU. Now, if this isn't music to everyone's ears, I don't know what is. We are finally getting what the fans want. This is what we have wanted for so long. This is what we've been theorizing for so long as well, that with Kingpin showing up in Hawkeye, with Kingpin showing up in the new Daredevil series, in Echo, potentially, and rumors of obviously him showing up in Spider-Man 4, which I think is what most people are really excited about, meant that he was going to be an overarching villain of the street-level MCU saga. And to be honest with you, I think we all saw it coming, but no one really knew if that's what they were going to do. And I think MCU Spider-Man 4 is kind of the nail in the coffin if he is the quote-unquote Thanos. But now he has been confirmed to be the quote-unquote Thanos of the street-level MCU. So I think this gives us more fuel to the flame that potentially Wilson Fisk will be in MCU Spider-Man 4, even though it was very likely anyway, I think more evidence is building up against this case that, yeah, Kingpin will be appearing in this film, and I'm really, really excited because this means that we are probably going to get some kind of street-level crossover, some kind of street-level Avengers movie at some point in the future as well, possibly with Wilson Fisk as the villain. It opens so many doors and so many opportunities for Wilson Fisk to be used as a villain in the MCU, not just for Spider-Man, but for obviously upcoming Daredevil stuff, obviously we know he's an Echo, and it's very, very likely that other street level stuff that is made in the MCU in the future in phases 5 and 6, he possibly will be the villain of those films and those shows as well, so I'm really, really excited for that as well. But in terms of MCU Spider-Man 4, I think this is where the excitement for me resides the most, and if you're watching this channel, then it probably for you guys as well, this probably means that he will be in the film in some capacity, whether he'll be a background character or more of a forefront character we don't understand or don't really know at this moment in time. However, even if he is to be in the background, maybe only a few scenes, maybe even a cameo here and there, just kind of dictating the play of that film, hiring villains, maybe Scorpion, maybe Chameleon, maybe someone a little bit under the radar to try and take out Spider-Man, that would be really, really interesting. And it'd be interesting to see how it would tie into the larger universe as well. So I'm very, very excited for this. I'm glad that they've confirmed this now that he is definitely going to be the Thanos of the street-level MCU. I, that, you know, I'm really excited for this. I cannot wait. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like on it. And also tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about this piece of news. I want to know what all of you think in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe for more Spider-Man content and hit the bell so you do not miss anything. We cover everything from the games and movies and the shows and the comics as well on the rare occasion. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.